you guys i have two weeks worth of fragrances to share with you guys yes i have been slacking i am a slacker okay i want to get caught up so if you're interested to see what fragrances i've been wearing over the last two weeks then keep watching <laughs> What's up fragrance family my name is amanda marie if you are new here welcome if you are already a family member welcome back to the channel over here i love to discuss all things fragrance so if you're someone that is into smelling good i would love for you to hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bells and watch the video <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I haven't been in front of the camera in quite some time. The only thing that I can chalk it up to is the fact that I feel like I've been grinding and hustling and recording all year long and I'm feeling a little burnt out and I usually get this way towards the end of the year. So I've been kind of slacking. Hence is why I have two weeks worth of fragrances to share with you guys. So if you new here, every week I do a video called Fragrance Flavors of the Week where I share with you everything I wore. Okay, if it had a fragrant, a smell, a bath, whatever, and I wore it, then I'm sharing it with you guys. So like I said, I have two weeks worth of fragrances and we gonna run through them quickly. I don't want this video to be too, too long cause y'all know how I feel about edit editing. I'm really like, I don't think that I'm gonna be doing too much editing to this video. So I really have to watch what I say because y'all, some things I'm like, Amanda, Amanda. Now you know you can't say that edit that out the video <laughs> so i'm really going to be watching what i say because i really just don't feel like editing too much okay because that that really is the part that just really grinds my gears okay that's the part that really like editing the videos editing my videos is really what drags it's a drag girl so y'all see we in the robe we're comfortable <sighs> Yes, I'm wearing a unit, okay, because I'm tired of doing my hair. <laughs> if you're new here, I am natural. I usually wear my hair in an afro, but baby, I need a break, okay? I am in much need of some relaxation, some rest, because I know that the next two months is going to be a blur right at thanksgiving and then my daughter's birthday she turns 30 this year so that's major and then my birthday is the next day and then christmas and then new year so your girl is taking naps where i can i'm eating right i'm drinking my water I'm getting my rest, okay? I'm getting my rest and I really need that. And y'all know I, I work a full-time job, okay? I love content creating, uh, but that is not my full-time gig. Not yet anyway. Hopefully one day, okay? But let's get into it. What have I been doing over the last two weeks? I have been, besides taking naps, <laughs> I went to my first candle and perfume making class here in Houston. It is called Love and Make. This is what the card looks like. And here is the information. In case you live in Houston and you wanna take advantage of a candle making class or a perfume class, then you should definitely do so. When I tell you I had the best Time. I met the owner, the co-owner, it's black owned. They were so welcoming. They had food for us, they had drinks, and we were there. I probably was there from like seven until maybe like, um, I was there from like seven until like 10. We did the candle making first, okay? And baby, when I tell you, <laughs> Bath and Body Works, ain't got nothing on me they could never okay create what i have created and this is the vessel i learned so much about candle making these are the vessels okay and i named mine calm down okay because that's where i'm at right now in my life i need to calm down and when i tell you this candle smells amazing 
I forget what's in it, but there is some vanilla here, of course, because y'all know I'm a vanilla girly. Okay, the house down. I love a sweet vanilla. This is warm. This is cozy. I want to say I put a little bit of maybe some frankincense or some myrrh in here, maybe some clove, something a little smoky because I wanted it to have that cozy, warm fireplace vibe. So I did that and I think it turned out amazing, amazing. This was, I mean, I love the class. Y'all, and my perfume, my perfume, hold on, let me get my perfume for you, girl. Oh my God, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I can't even tell you all the things I have in my perfume. Now, I made this on last Tuesday, so when you put in all your, your oils and everything, you kinda gotta let it sit and marinate and macerate, you know what I'm saying? You gotta let it cook, okay? But y'all, this smells so good and so sexy. At first, when I went there, in my mind, like on the way there, I was like, okay, I think I want something like woodsy, that's leathery, and that it has some vanilla. I kind of had in my mind, I wanted to create something that kind of reminded me of a Tom Ford fragrance, like a, a leathery Tom Ford fragrance. Yeah, I didn't do that because I didn't like the way the leather was coming off. But this is what the bottle looks like and I named it Crash and Burn. Hey, my inspo was my love life, okay? <laughs> or the lack thereof, I should say. But I feel like whenever I meet someone that I am really into, like it starts off so good, y'all. Like it starts off amazing. But within the first two to three months, I end up crashing and burning. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving too much of myself too soon. I'm too trusting. I'm too, I'm too something. And this fragrance is definitely too much of goodness. Okay. Too much. Wow. Really? Y'all going to bring the little mutt outside when I start recording my video? Anyway, <laughs> this fragrance is, is too much. And when I say too much, it's too good, okay? It's warm, it's sweet. I put some almond in here. I put some vanilla, of course. I wanna say, I don't know, I have, I'll put the notes up on the screen of what I put in my perfume, but y'all. Crash and Burn, baby. It's sexy. It is sexy, but it's still wearable. And that's really what I wanted to create was a wearable fragrance. I didn't want to create anything that I myself wouldn't wear, like that I feel like I would struggle to wear. And it was so many freaking notes to choose from. I mean, I, get, I got a taste of what true perfumers go through i i can't imagine and, and i only girl scrape the surface the surface of what they do and what they go through it is a lot it is really really a lot you can get overwhelmed very quickly um they did have people there to guide us through the process to show us what to do i love that honey because it was a lot it was a lot but i enjoyed it thoroughly if you're in houston love and make is where you want to go and they do DIYs, corporate events, team buildings, showers, birthdays, mobile party products and gifts. Okay, go check them out. I've also been enjoying the new release from Skin Potion. This is in collab with Yummy and this is the body oil. It is created with Tahitian vanilla and marshmallow. When I tell you guys, I am so in love with this. This is an easy grab. It's beautiful, it's sensual, it's warm, it's sweet, it's a gourmand. It is just all the things. Like when I use this, the scent, it just carries in my bathroom. It lingers, like I swear to you. I can be walking in different places where I may have the bottle or I may have the, um, the body butter and I swear, I'm getting whiffs of this all 
day long it is just so good i'm in love with the body scrub i talked about that in my previous uh fragrance flavors video i use the body scrub y'all i swear there are real vanilla pods in that body scrub my skin uh my skin felt so smooth okay like a baby's butt like the prettiest the softest cashmere sweater my skin felt amazing of course y'all know after the scrub i topped it off with the body butter man this smells like the most luxurious high-end vanilla that you ever want to put your nose on okay it smells amazing y'all know i've already been using it okay I've already been dipping into it, honey. And the way my skin shines, let me just put some on so y'all can see. I'm gonna just put a little bit on, on the back of my hand because to be honest with you, a little goes a long way. I just have a little tiny amount on my finger, as you can see. I'm gonna just put some on the back of my, look at that. Girl, what? luxurious i ain't even had my bath like i haven't even had my shower yet so i don't want to use too much of this so this is what i would put on like after the shower i would put it on before i go to work because i don't know why but my skin feels so dry <laughs> right when i'm putting my clothes on to go to work it is crazy but this has been a lifesaver I love it. I love the way it smells. I love everything about it. That is what I've been doing over the last couple of weeks and a few things that I've been wearing over the last couple of weeks. We're going to get into the fragrances now. And like I said, I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. I'm not going to really go into details too, too much about the fragrances because I feel like some of these fragrances I've already talked to y'all before. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the deal. I haven't really bought anything new as I say that. Okay, I'm, I don't feel like I've bought any new fragrances than what I've already showed you guys. I've bought a couple of new decants, but full-size bottles, I haven't bought anything. And I purposely haven't bought anything because it's getting close to the holidays. It's getting close to Christmas. So your girl has to save up a little bit um, for that. <laughs> especially for my daughter's birthday like i gotta save up for that because she's turning 30 and that's a big thing and i just want to make it really special for her so mama been i've been holding back okay i've been holding back but last week no no the week before that okay two weeks ago uh, and I don't even know what days I wore these fragrance, fragrances on. I'm just going to be honest with you. But I feel like I started the week off with Tom Ford's Soleil Neige. And you guys know I've actually had this particular fragrance for a while now. Let's see if we can get it focused. And this was not a blind buy for me i actually sampled this fragrance before i decided to buy a full-size bottle and i really enjoyed the sample i i don't know why i did this i don't know why i did this because sometimes i be doing stuff but i sprayed the sample on my freaking pillow i remember this distinctly because i've never sprayed any perfume on my pillow never and i did and y'all, I enjoyed it. And that smell lasted for days until I washed my sheets that weekend. And I was like, okay, bet. I need this in my life. This is supposed to mimic the snow. It's supposed to mimic snow in the sun, okay? And I'm giving you guys cliff notes, okay? And when I smell this, it is bright. There's a, a brightness to it, almost piercing brightness to it. It kind of reminds me of ISO E Super, you know, like that, that woody outside smell. 
and it also reminds me of a musk okay but i want to say there's some woody notes in here there's some vanilla there is a softness to this fragrance a soft you know how musk can be very soft and sensual that is what this is giving i feel like this fragrance is very versatile too it has these soft maybe a soft pretty floral note i don't know if that's jasmine in here but it does give me like a a beautiful springy vibe but it also gives me like a ice cold winter time feel hard to explain okay it really is but in my opinion i think this is one of the best um time for it fragrances in the private blend collection i have a few i don't have a lot but i would put soleil neige right at like top five i would top five for sure this one is nice next one up because i am in the mood i'm in that fall mood i'm ready for the seasons to change i'm ready for cooler weather i'm ready to pull out my sweaters and thing and that's another thing i've been doing too i've been watching a lot of the fashion girlies because i kind of want my channel to go in a little bit of a different direction next year so i'm playing with that in my mind and writing notes down and seeing what that actually would look like for me um, because I don't want to be a one pony show anymore like I want to share a little bit more with you guys as far as fashions as far as vlogging day-to-day -day life which I still feel like my day-to-day -day life is non-existent besides going to work um, I don't really do anything exciting but I'm hoping what i've noticed is and i'm getting a little bit off track sorry <laughs> sorrows but what i've noticed is that when i looked in my closet my closet was very blah and i think it's because i wear scrubs to work so i've invested more money in my scrubs and shoes for work and stuff like that i haven't invested any money in just fashion so when i went in my closet i redid my closet it looks so cute now i'll have to share with y'all it's it's a walk-in closet but it's it's small it's not huge okay so i'm not working with a lot of space so that required me to get very creative in that small space and i will show you guys um we will do that but I noticed that when I put my clothes on, I just feel better, okay? And the fragrance is the piece de la resistance, okay? It is the cherry on top. That's what the fragrance is, okay? And I think I have the fragrance component on lock. I just need to get the fashion game on lock okay and we're gonna be working with something we're gonna be cooking with fish grease okay we're gonna be hot in this thing so just bear with me some changes are coming okay i'm gonna be spending more time on youtube i've made that decision too um i just feel like it, I, I like tiktok i like instagram but youtube is really where it's at for me so i feel like i really want to just focus more on you guys and building a community here on youtube but anyway i veered off once again let me reel it back in let me focus i'm getting into fall okay i'm ready for fall i got my sweaters out everything's ready to go i'm just waiting on that temperature to drop you hear me so in the meantime we're gonna prepare we're gonna get ready we gonna stay ready so we don't have to get ready okay so i'm preparing i wore a coffee break by um maison margella replica coffee break and you guys are very familiar with this fragrance at this point i don't have to go much into detail about this fragrance but i am going to spray this fragrance because i feel like is there some lavender in here I don't know i can't if it's lavender in here it's really not that loud but you definitely get the coffee you and it's not it's a very light light coffee note in my opinion because i have coffee fragrances that give coffee okay this doesn't give this doesn't give that dark robust heady 
coffee okay this is like a hint of coffee this is like a whiff of coffee but i'm getting the vanilla very pretty maybe a little musk maybe a little woods it kind of reminds me of a 90s fragrance i'm not even gonna lie it, it very much gives a 90s vibe i'm i'm very familiar with the 90s that's what i'm saying but i like this i like this it also reminds me of that naomi campbell fragrance if you guys have had it and tried it it reminds me of that naomi campbell it also reminds me of montclair perfume okay beautiful vanilla coffee um, fragrance it may have some type of aldehydes in here because i get a little bit of a razzle dazzle a little fizzy a little pop and coffee break but i like it and i don't even know why i bought this big bottle to be honest with you it's gonna take me forever to go through this bottle i also put out burberry goddess which is another vanilla fragrance that i really do enjoy this is <sighs> There is lavender in here, but the lavender is very fleeting. The lavender does not last, in my opinion, throughout the duration of the dry down, throughout the wear. I get this beautiful, like white floral almost. I get this beautiful vanilla. I get this bright, uh, effervescent uh, type of smell from this and an effervescent type of feel. I don't know why, but when I put this on my skin and I go outside and it's sunny outside, this fragrance just expands. It carries, it floats. I mean, it has the best sillage, it has the best performance, the best longevity. You really do get a bang for your buck with this fragrance. This is probably one of my favorite right now one of my favorite designer fragrances and y'all know i grew up on designer fragrances i started my channel with designer fragrances i've kind of now since moved uh, towards niche and um more indie brand fragrances but every now and again i will run across a designer fragrance that i absolutely love and i'm gonna give it to burberry goddess like i feel like they did a really good thing here if you are a vanilla lover you're going to love this it's very feminine very pretty it just has a lot of character it's classy i feel like this is just a timeless fragrance this is a fragrance you can wear girl any any time of the year okay so if you're looking to make your money stretch if you're looking for a good deal if you're looking for a beautiful vanilla look no further Burberry Goddess. I won't steer you wrong. I won't lie to you. I wore it twice, okay, in the last past two weeks. It's just that good. So I'm not going to talk about it again, okay? I'm going to hold it up for in the next batch of fragrances that I wore last week, okay? Moving on. Yeah, I love this um, fragrance, and I cannot even pronounce the name. I want to say it's called Ajab. Okay, Asia Dubai. This is from Latafa. And ooh, we, I am in love with this fragrance. I am in love, love, love. I know I talked about this fragrance in my last video I just put out showcasing all my Arabic or Middle Eastern fragrances. But when I was putting my bottles up, I was like, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it, and I did, and I just love it. This is a sweet, soft, spicy mango fragrance. It's not a gourmand, okay? I don't want y'all to think that, but you pick up the mango. The mango smells not necessarily ripe, okay? It smells like say you took a mango you peeled it you cut it up and you ate a little bit uh from it and then you kind of saved the rest 
and you went back to it like a couple of days later and it's just juicier it's sweeter it is just is that right is that what they call ripe i don't know i'm not a mango eater so i don't know but and i don't really care for fruity notes and fragrances i just they're hit or miss for me i, I feel like sometimes the fruity notes can just be they can smell a little fake a little synthetic for my liking okay but this sweet creamy soft spicy mango oh this is like vacation in a bottle but i feel like it's a good one to wear in the fall because of that soft spicy uh note that i get from this fragrance but it's definitely giving like uh, sexy vacation okay vibes not if you're on the beach but you're getting dressed up to go to the restaurant in the hotel okay and you have on this sexy dress girl that you bought off of Micah's or you bought from uh, Aritzia <laughs> one of them places okay that's what this is giving this is giving very much sexy Aritzia vibes okay Ooh, one of my favorites from the Tafa. I can't stop talking about this enough. Let me show y'all again in case y'all want to pick it up. Baby, it is, ooh, it is everything. It is the cat's meow. It is almost better than sliced bread, baby. Ooh, it's so good. It is so freaking good, okay? Next, I wore one of my favorites from Christian Louboutin. This is Louis Rouge. Now, this is the this was not my first bottle that I bought. This was the second bottle that I bought. The first full size bottle that I bought is Louis Crown. It's more woody, more earthy, more dark. This one is very feminine. Okay, this is a classy fragrance for the classy girls you just okay your vibe is high-end your vibe is luxury like you just really enjoy the finer things in life Louis Rouge is going to be for you what I get in this is a beautiful soft powdery cardamom okay and iris that is what I get. It is light and feminine and airy. It has the best sillage. I mean, it floats. It, you leave a beautiful scent trail. I like to spray it behind my neck because it has a beautiful sillage because I like my scent to float when I'm in the office, okay? I might be looking like, girl, a nickel, but I'm smelling like a dime piece. You hear me? Yeah. So good. <laughs> so good. Mm, I love this. Very feminine. Very gorgeous. Very classy fragrance in my opinion. It really is. One of my favorites from the whole Christian uh, Louboutin collection. It is just Chef's Kiss. Again, this is Louis Rouge. Love that one. Now we're going to fast forward to the next week. I was sampling some fragrances and I am going to have to pull up the notes for this one because I don't think I know the notes. I wanted to sample some fragrances and I had a bunch of samples from y'all. I have a ton of samples here. Okay. And I look at my samples and I'm like, what the heck? Like I need to go through my samples. I need to wear them. I probably will find some gems. I think that's what I'm afraid of. I'm going to find something that I like and I'm going to want to buy it. But I have a lot of samples. I got a lot of samples from Bon Parfumer and they sent over, I want to say five, and they sent over 301. Now they come in these little ampules, but I transferred it into a sprayer and y'all can't really see which one this is because it kind of rubbed off a little bit, but I, I feel like this is 301. I feel like that's what this is because I see amber, cardamom, 
and I want to say the other name is sandalwood. I think there's sandalwood in here, but this fragrance is warm, it's sweet, it's soft, spicy, it's a little fresh, it's a little woody, creamy. Oh my gosh, this is giving like this. It reminds me of this really beautiful, warm, soft fall fragrance but it has that elang in it which is a yellow flower that really reminds me of like a summertime scent um, it could come off creamy as well and then there's coconut on top of it so it gives this like fall vibe but with a little tropical feel to it like a sweetness so i don't know it's hard to explain but i like that combination that it gives i really really do and i think this is really full bottle worthy for me because i don't have any fragrances in my collection quite like this that like that duality of fall and then tropical or summertime i don't know but I, I like the combination i really did i really i'm digging 301 by bond performer the next one is one of my favorites you talk about getting into the mood of fall of winter time preparing myself for these cooler months this fragrance does it for me every single Time. and that is burn for you by five cents that is what this looks like man this is so pretty I get a ton of compliments every time I wear this fragrance you have Madagascar vanilla you have cashmere and you have musk but there's also a note of clove in here so you get this beautiful like sexy vanilla that's soft but then you get this kind of firewood um, note in here that's it's not in your face it's a little bit more in the background it's a little bit more in the distance but it follows you everywhere you go okay and when I wear this people compliment me all the time but but then some people say like do you smell something it smells like smoke it, it smells like something is burning okay that's the clove again it's not prominent but it is noticeable okay but beyond that this is a gorgeous scent oh man it's one of my favorites from the brand and i just love to wear it when it gets cold i don't i wouldn't grab for this in any other time and I, i'm trying to get out of that like i want to wear all my fragrances all year round i don't just want to wear certain fragrances for the cooler months but unfortunately for me this is one that I must, I have to re reserve for those cooler months simply because of the clove, okay? It's a little smoky, but when I tell you guys, it is so good. And you can pick these up at Sephora. You can pick these up. Yeah, you can pick these up at Sephora or the website. Okay? Like if you're the type of person that wants to smell it before you buy it, go to Sephora. They are available at Sephora and they are affordable under $100. People don't really talk about five cents. But when I tell you, you get a lot of bang for your book, honestly, really do. So I highly recommend this. If you're trying to save some money, like, you know, and you want a nice fall wintertime fragrance, burn for you is going to be the one so i was really like fiending to wear this fragrance i was i kept thinking about it i really it really started off with this body oil it started off with sweet smoke from brown sugar babe now y'all know i picked this one up probably over a month ago now when i went to their soiree here in houston this is Sweet Smoke. This is their inspired by uh, version of Tobacco Honey by Guerlain, okay? So it started off with this. I put this on while I was getting ready for work one morning last week, and I was like, you know what? I might as well just spray the perfume. Why not? We're here. Let's just go all the way with it. If we gonna do it, let's do it. Yeah. And so I pulled this bad boy out. This is Tobacco Honey by Guerlain. 
and y'all know this is one of my favorites from Guerlain this is I'm not gonna say a spot on dupe but it is about 98% exact that's what I'll say and I really like it this is a warm sweet slightly smoky honeyed tobacco think more of tobacco leaf versus tobacco smoke the honey smells very realistic sweet sticky gooey ooey goodness okay it smells divine rich ambery warm for me honey can be very tricky okay in certain fragrances that carry a, a heavy honey note after a while i start getting a little nauseated okay but not with this one this mm -mm, this it, it, it get me right okay I, i'm right for the whole night okay and i love this i love it beautiful if you don't care for fragrances like tobacco vinyl by tom ford not saying that they smell alike because they don't okay but if you don't like that fragrance i don't know how you're going to feel about this one either but if you love tobacco vinyl you're going to love tobacco honey now this next fragrance really doesn't get talked about a lot in my opinion but i think it is one of the best liqueurs from killian okay and the liqueurs look like this and this is levert this is going to be a unique fragrance for sure it might not be a fan fave if you're someone that likes to be adventurous with your fragrances i think you should smell this okay this is going to be licorice this is going to be patchouli this is going to be a little bit of some vanilla some woods okay it smells you smell the licorice okay so again i don't know i'm not a big fan of licorice i will say that but but i thoroughly enjoy it in this fragrance i really really do it smells so unique and different it reminds me of walking through a wooded area like a forest okay and it may be a little damp you know a little maybe just a rain just came through okay and i'm walking through a forest i'm picking up on all those dark woody notes and i'm eating a licorice stick that's what it smells like but when i tell you the dry down is so beautiful the longevity is so amazing it is just slept on i think it is one of the liqueurs that is really slept on and i'm really happy that i have it in my collection because it's just a gem to me i can see myself wearing this when it is like in the 40s so this is another one that i would only reserve for those cooler days okay but i can see myself i'm layered i got maybe like a sweater on a turtleneck a sweater a coat because this like this is cold weather fragrance right here okay it's cold outside my boots that's the vibes okay but i wore this the other day because it had one i want to say it got down to like the 60s maybe it wasn't that cold but it was cold enough for me to pull this bad boy out and wear it and i really enjoyed it beautiful beautiful scent very unique very different definitely get your nose on it if that is like your vibe you should definitely smell it okay uh last but not least i wore one of my favorite fragrances i was in the mood i want to say i wore this last friday and i don't know what it is about fridays fridays especially a payday friday baby i'm happy i'm giddy i'm showing up to work in the best mood like i'm ready to start my day i'm ready to get this damn day over with and just welcome in the weekend enjoy the weekend so usually when i pick my fragrances on a friday this might sound weird to some but others will get what i'm saying 
I like to pick a really nice fragrance on a Friday, okay? Like I'm really intentional on what I pick on Fridays. So I wanted something very fun because I was in that mood, right? So I went with my girl, Minnie from House of Siage. Y'all know this bottle is spectacular, okay? Give me 14 of them, spectacular beautiful let me show you guys what the top looks like on the inside i gotta wipe let me wipe off my little nubby fingerprints so y'all can see what the inside of the bottle the cap i should say it looks like very detail oriented i want to say there are maybe a hundred Swarovski crystals on this top. It is very weighty, very heavy. This is what the cupcake looks like. And if you guys are not familiar with House of Siage fragrances, they're known for the cupcake fragrances because most of their fragrances come in the shape of a cupcake, okay? Very eleganza. Y'all, this is so playful. This is marshmallow. This is whipped cream. This is raspberry. This is vanilla. There may be some coconut in here, but it is definitely giving gourmand. She is sweet, syrupy, decadent, delightful, delicious. Baby, she's all the D's, okay? And then some. She's all that. She is all that. One of the prettiest gourmands in my collection this is something that i would want to eat or drink okay let me just say that she's fluffy she's sweet she's just a pretty girl okay pretty just delightful i enjoy wearing this when i wear it it's just a beautiful gourmand it really is and i just when i'm in a playful mood i grab for this because she's just so playful and i do have the mini i don't ever wear the mini i do have the mickey mouse and it's so sad i don't even wear the mickey you know what i'm gonna wear mickey tomorrow i'm gonna wear mickey tomorrow i don't think i've ever really gave mickey a chance mickey is in a different direction mickey is a little bit more soapier a little bit more maybe a little bit citrus in it with some coconut that direction okay Minnie is standing on business okay the girl is standing on business in her kitten heels she's not playing with us period so i love Minnie by house of siage okay, i think that's it that's enough anyway because my voice is starting to crack <laughs> i've noticed that when i'm talking um for long periods of times my voice starts cracking and sounding very raspy which is my telltale sign to cut it okay so we're done for this video anyway Just comment down below if you um, have any of the fragrances I mentioned in this video let us know how you like them let us know your opinions on them I think it's good when we all talk in the comment section and people get to hear other opinions about the fragrances that I've mentioned because it's just good to have you know a lot of different takes on fragrances and not just mine also let me know what you've been wearing lately let me know down in the comments if you're someone that loves to smell good i would love for you to hit the subscribe button make sure you turn on your notification bells that way you're notified every time i upload a video on and you don't miss out don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out i would appreciate it so so much Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you are having or had a pleasant day and I hope you're smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.